Hello there, this is Daniel from Toolchefs and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use directional modules for driving your agents. In this scene here I'm having a very simple setup, so it's a grid layout and a state machine with the state set to 1. My agents are going to just, just be working straight. And I want to do what I want to do here is uh, uh, I want them to follow this curve that I've already created. To do that I'm going to add a follow curve module and I'm going to drag and drop this object with the middle mouse button from the outliner to the curve attribute. Now the follow curve module is going to use this curve to drive the agents. I'm also going to change the max turn angle to 3. This is uh, the maximum angle that is going to be used by the agents whenever they are, they are turning, so they're, they're not going to turn more than 3 degrees per frame. I'm going to press play and now they will be following the curve. What I'd like to do now is also to have the agents avoiding these boxes here. If I press play, you'll see that they will be actually intersecting with them. And to make them uh, make the agents avoid the, the, that shape, I'm going to add a mesh avoidance. And I'm going to drag and drop with the middle mouse button from the outliner that shape on top of the mesh attribute. Uh, I'm also going to change the distance to 400. So when the agents are going to be closer than 400 units to one of these boxes, they're going to start uh, avoiding that shape. So as you can see, they are avoiding the shapes, but they are not avoiding each other. So for instance, these two agents are uh, going one on top of the other. And to make them avoid each other, I'm going to add uh, an agent separation module. I'm going to change the distance to 300 and max turn angle to 4 and the steering force, separation force, I'm going to leave it to 0, 0.5. So now it looks okay. Um, what I would like to do now is uh, um, to add a bit of variation. So because now everything is sort of AI driven, I don't have a lot of control on, on these agents. But what I can do is actually to uh, drive some of them with another follow curve and to move them around. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna change camera just for a second. I'm going to unite this curve, this curve here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, add another follow curve module going to drag and drop this curve on top of the curve attribute. I'm going to set the curve weight for all the agents to zero. So that now if I play it you'll see that they are gonna be ignoring this curve. This will be this is exactly the same simulation as before. But now I'm going to open the override dialog. I'm going to select with the agent selection tool uh, let's say this agent here and these two agents here. I'm going to um, press play. And here I'm going to set a keyframe for that guy. And I'm going to set another keyframe, the value of 1 there, then I'm going to se select this guy here which is the other one, I'm going to set the keyframe at 0, I want it there to be 1 key, the other guy I'm going to set another keyframe at 0, I'm going to set this value to 1 and I'm going to set the key. So now if I play this animation, we should see um, these three agents following the, that curve. Of course you can change the max turn angle so that uh, they don't uh, turn so, so quickly uh, at that point. Sure, let's do that. So do it to... 
six. Okay, now it looks a bit better, but you can still experiment with those values and uh, make them look as you want. I'm gonna go back to the camera I was using before just to double check the result. You could do the same with other robots and make the simulation look a bit more random. Another module that you can use for driving your agents is the curve field. The curve field is a module that lets you achieve uh, more artistic results that, than the one that you can get with uh, mesh avoidance, for example. Uh, what it does is uh, it creates a vector field with uh, the curves that you provide uh, and use, it uses that vector field for driving your agents. Uh, for this reason, it's very important that uh, whenever you create your curves, uh, you make sure that uh, they follow the same direction. So, for instance, for these two curves that I'm going to use together, I, start, I started creating the vertices from here to here and the same thing for this curve, so from here to here. Then also I'm gonna use these curves together and I started creating them from here and then I went into this direction and so on. So now let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna create the first curve field using the outer curves, which are curve three and four. So I'm gonna drag and drop them on top of these two attributes here. So three and four. And then I'm going to change the max angle to three. And I'm going to change the samples a little just because I don't need so many. I'm going to press play and now basically the, the curve, the vector field that uh, is described by these two curves are, is driving the agents. Then I'm going to create another curve field and I'm going to add another couple more. So I'm going to use these two curves here, which are, I think, yeah, one and two. So one and two. Then I want to change the maximum distance to 200 just because I don't want really the uh, curves to affect the agents when they are too far from, from them. So I don't want the, the agents to be affected when they are, they are down here or up here. Um, I'm go also going to change the, um, the drop off to 20 and the maximum angle I'm going to leave it to 5 and I'm going to change the samples to 20. So now if I press play, they're going to be, they're going to try avoid this. Uh, this, um, this cylinder here. I'm gonna add another curve field. I'm gonna add uh, just uh, uh, one curve and I'm going to drag curve uh, six. This just to show is uh, this one. Um, and for this curve, I'm going to change again the maximum distance to 200. I'm going to leave the angle again to five. I'm gonna change the drop off to 50 and I'm going to change the samples to 10. Uh, then I'm gonna press play. Of course you can experiment with these uh, values. You don't really need to use the same values uh, that I'm using here. Here I just made some tests and just make this a bit more quick. Um, then I'm gonna create another curve field. I'm gonna, just for the last cylinder here, I'm gonna use uh, um, the last curve that is missing, so curve 5. And then I'm going to change again the maximum distance to 200, the drop off to 20, and the samples to 10. And now they are avoiding uh, the, the cylinders. So this is everything for uh, this video about uh, driving your agents with uh, directional uh, modules. Thanks for watching.